How many of you are familiar with Porsche Motor Companies? Now, how many of you are familiar with the founder of Porsche? Okay. Well, I'll actually get back to his story after my speech, but right now, Porsche is not only a company with a rich racing history, they also offer a wide variety of vehicles to the public and are currently developing new technology which could defeat all other hybrid systems. Now, Porsche has a racing, um, or Porsche has a record like no other car company, and that is their number of victories. In over 40 years of racing, they've won over 20,000 races. Now, it all started with their original car, their 356. The Porsche 356 was legendary in their history. In 1951, it actually won the 24 Hours of Le Mans, which is a huge deal over in Europe. Now, this put the spotlight on Porsche, as a renowned sports car maker. Um, Rob Sass from New York Times wrote, thus to the whales of the faithful, the car that became the 911 was introduced at the 1963 Frankfurt Motor Show. Production of the 356 ended in 1965. Now in here, you can actually get a glance of just how many 911s are used today. Now this is just a single race, and 911s dominated the racetrack. The 911 was a radical change to cars in the day because the engine is actually in the trunk. And this was a problem because it really messed up the balance of the car. So when you go around a corner, the back end would want to kick out and a lot of people were killed or got in a lot of accidents because of that. But Porsche has refined the 911 into what is now one of the finest sports cars. Now, all of this racing history has transferred into their um, into their inventory for the public use. Um, their, all of their vehicles include the Boxster, which is their small sports car, the Cayman, which is their newest uh, sports car, it's a two-seater, um, and next is the 911, which is their long-lasting flagship. Uh, the Porsche Panamera is actually the newest uh, sports car, it's a four-door sedan, um, which is a pretty big step for Porsche. And finally is Porsche's SUV, which was a heated debate because a lot of people disagreed with it. But during its introduction in 1998, uh, prices or sales skyrocketed, and it turned out to be a huge success. And now all of these cars are great by themselves, but Porsche is actually working on a new technology, which is called regenerative, uh, regenerative braking. And now here's the car that actually works. Um, what happens, there are actually flywheels um, located on the front tires. So when the car brakes, um, energy is then sent to a generator, which is stores the energy. Um, that energy can actually be used by the driver um, to either help him get out of uh, acceleration or to help him overtake another car. Um, what happens, when he uses his power, it actually cuts off the standard engine and the car runs solely on electricity. And this actually, like, it really increases fuel economy because during acceleration or when you're trying to overtake the car, that's when the engine is being used to the So by stopping that, fuel economy increases. And now um, each motor that is uh, driven by the electricity produces 160 horsepower. So combined with the standard engine of the car, the car has a total of 620 horsepower. Dr. Daniel Armbruster said, we wanted more power, more performance. With a hybrid, you save fuel so you can travel farther on the same fuel ration as your rations. Less fuel means fewer pit stops. Fewer pit stops means more time on the track. Now, the 911 GT3R hybrid that's being passed around that actually raced at Road Atlanta a few weeks ago. And it started out with a pole position of 43. And after 10 hours of racing, it ended up 18. Um, and it uh, traveled an astonishing 889 miles. Um, and these were huge steps in actually developing this technology for the public use. And now, with all that said, Porsche is a company with a rich racing history. They've developed um, five unique vehicles for the public use and are currently working on new technology to defeat other hybrid systems.
Now, Ferdinand Porsche, the owner of Porsche Motor Companies, or the founder of Porsche Motor Companies, he actually started working for his father, who was a plumber. And over time, he's developed one of the finest sports car uh, companies in the world. So no matter what background you might have or what you think your life is going to, you just never know what can happen. Thank you.